hi so um i've got lots of videos that i want to film over the next few days lots of insights haven't updated for a little while i also want to try and do something cooler behind me and get my ring light out and like actually do um like a half-ass <laughs> attempt that's not just um photo booth and i've got so like I paint all the time and I've got so many plants. It's like a jungle in here. And then you don't even know there's one little measly plant there. And I've got some of the most stunning, beautiful plants. <laughs> um, so there's a few topics that I want to talk about. I'm going to split them up and do separate videos because I know um, that's just easier. Um, so the first one is like why we shouldn't hate our ego, like why our ego is still God. Because I think there's this big thing that when you wake up and you get on the spiritual community, you're like, I hate my ego, I want to get rid of my ego, I want to stop reacting, I want to stop getting triggered. And they're all quite separate things. So there's nothing wrong with an ego. Like if everything is God and all is one, then ego too is God, you know, like ego is also part of source. It's, it's God as well. And, um, to hate our ego is actually to hate ourselves. This process isn't about hating the ego or eradicating the ego. The process is about embracing and loving the ego. And then we go back to all is love, everything is love, you know, and that's how it is. And I know I'm at the point with nearly um, like everything now that when I can see my ego, I can own it quite quickly and I can just laugh. And there's nothing wrong with the laughing at your ego. There's nothing, that's how we integrate the ego is we acknowledge that we've chosen it. We've acknowledged that it's not a bad thing. We just acknowledged it and we've loved it or we've integrated it or whatever your process is for integrating ego, you integrate it to the point where you don't eradicate it. You don't get rid of it. Although as we integrate it, <laughs> it does tend to go, but it goes through integration, not through like, Oh, I need to avoid my ego, which is why I just don't think things work when there's a lot of abstinence. Like, when I see the ashrams and people abstain from everything that they consider egoic, I don't personally believe that's the way to go about it because I believe the way to go about it is to integrate it and to love it until you no longer want to do it. Like it's not that you're holding yourself back, you just don't want to do it anymore. And um, everything that the way you can see your ego is everything that comes into your reality or your experience or every person and they do something that frustrates you upsets you or you make a judgment about them you know there's a difference between making an observation and making a judgment like oh that you know expletive is always doing this or i can't believe they do this or i can't believe they don't listen to anybody else's opinions you're just projecting your own undenied shadow onto that person. And that's the process of just spotting it, owning it, laughing about it, not taking it too seriously. Just being like, oh yeah, I do that too. That's my ego. And you get quicker and quicker at catching it. So you can be in an argument with somebody and in your head you're like, ah, oh, they're not listening. How can they not listen? Oh, they're not even open to another opinion. And then you can take it back to yourself and you'd be like, yeah, nor am I. And at that point you can just laugh about it and you can, you can give love to it. And when you send love to the other person, then you integrate it. And that's how we deal with everything with love. It's not like, I think there's this really big misunderstanding that loving everybody is just being like a doormat for everybody. Um, it's not being a doormat, it's observing yourself in others everyone is you pushed out everyone that shows up is showing you a part of yourself they reject you you rejected yourself before they had the chance you rejected yourself first they just showed you how you reject yourself anyone that gives you a mean comment 
they're just showing you all the doubts that you have in your own mind about why you're not good enough or why you're too this or why you're too fat or why you're too skinny. Like they're just showing you those thoughts in your mind that are ego thoughts, like they're not loving thoughts. So as soon as we can acknowledge them and accept them and embrace them and send love, we're not really forgiving anybody. We're not really sending love to anybody. We're just owning and acknowledging our own self and loving our ego as it shows up in other people. So um, yeah, that's today's video. And yeah, it's just integrating your ego. Obviously, remember, like all of these are you know, my opinions, my thoughts, my beliefs, the things that, the ideas that I've come to on this journey so far, and that's ever evolving, you know, like, um, I don't watch anybody, or I'm not interested in anybody that's not evolving, or continually questioning the things that they do, because we're just here sharing our experience, and sharing that experience with others, things that, you know, we've, you know, I've been working through these things for a decade now so you learn things that work for you and you see things that work for others and you have longer periods because I know on the journey there's a lot of things that you do them and you get an instant result and I've had that too but then you know a few months down the line things repeat and these are the kinds of things that then when you go onto videos and it's like, oh, this worked for me, this worked for me, you don't really see that because nobody then goes back in like four months and is like, well, actually, you know? So you're just reading those kind of instant results and you're not really seeing the long, and this is, I guess, the good thing about following people's journeys that are like working on stuff every day and are evolving and are willing to change and are willing to be open to new things. So you know, we're just sharing the things that have worked for us, the things that have made our lives better and more joyful. And, um, you know, that isn't achieving anything. You don't, it's not really about achieving any abundance level or relationship level. That's kind of irrelevant. Really, it's about achieving um, like an inner joy and an easier life and a life that flows and a life full of joy. And this is leading on to my next video about conscious manifesting and where I've got to with what I think about manifesting specific things versus the journey of just being, um, ongoing process for me. So, um, yeah, I'll leave this one at that for now. And thank you for tuning in.